Finland provides the operator the ability to program and remotely control the robot motion. Essentially, a robot consists of two elements, a teeth pendant and a robot controller. And the robot controller is the brain of the robot. It can also network to other systems so that the robot can work together with other robots and machines. If this is your first time here, please check my other video that are related to the topic, like interview question and answer, FANOC and ABB robotics, motor controls, electrical reviewer, and many more. Now let's proceed with the teeth pendant navigation. This is the teeth pendant or flex pendant of the ABB robot. And this is the main menu, status bar, touch screen or menu screen, hard keys for fast access programming, e stop, three way joystick, hard keys for running program, example, play, stop, move forward and move backward, and running application. You can only run up to six applications. After that, you cannot open anymore. So you need to close it. This is the enabling button or enabling device. The enabling button is press switch with three position. The switch must be in the middle position in order to activate the motors. And now let's take a look every page or application of the teeth pendant. If we are going to click the main menu, you can access the hot edit, inputs and outputs, jogging menu, production window, program editor, program data, backup and restore, calibration, control panel, event log, flex pendant explorer, system information, log of default user, and restart. For example, if we are going to tap the input and output, you can simulate the input. Example, if the prox is not made, you can simulate it from 0 to 1. And you can force the output of the gripper or clamp of your tooling, especially if your robot is in a tight space and you want to move it out. Next, status bar. You can also view manual and auto in status bar. Guard stop, motor on and motor off. You can also view if your program is running or stop, and how many percent of your speed, 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100%. The quick access menu provides a quick access to change property for the following function. This is the robot mechanical unit symbol, and it allows you to choose and access motion modes, choose coordinates, and work object. If you click here, then click show details. The coordinates and motion modes is displayed. And you can also change the jog speed here. If you click the next one increment, you can jog the robot in small steps, which enable precise positioning, especially when you crash the robot and cause joint collisions. If you click none, the jog speed is normal, 250 millimeter per second. Next, if you tap Run Mode, it will bring you here, Single Cycle and Continuous Cycle. The Single Cycle is for testing program only. And for Continuous, tap this for normal production. Next, if you tap State Mode, it will bring you here. The State Mode will allow you to have different step selections in executing a program. Next, if you click the speed, you can adjust the speed of the robot by pressing the accelerometer. And you can do it in production and step mode. The task will show you if you have one or two robots 